Okay, today's question is 986 interval list intersections. We are given two lists of closed intervals. Each list of intervals is pairwise disjoint and is in sorted order. We ask you to return the intersection of these two interval lists. So, formally a closed interval A and B with A less than or equal to B denotes the set of real numbers X such that uh, X is in between A and B. So we can see that uh, we, we have equal sign here. So the boundary points are, uh, the, the, the intervals are inclusive on the boundaries. And uh, I guess closed means that uh, we, we wouldn't have any kind of uh, infinity on either end. And um, so just look at the question again, uh, statement again. We are given this closed intervals. And uh, the second information is, uh, the intervals from the list are pairwise disjoint, meaning that if we take any two intervals from the same list, it's guaranteed that uh, they have no intersection am among themselves. So uh, the, the third thing is that uh, the, uh, the intervals from the same list are, are sorted. So if we iterate over the intervals from the same list, we are guaranteed to have the previous interval's ending point it's, it's uh, guaranteed to be smaller than the uh, starting point of the next interval and it's a strict uh, s a smaller uh, there is no, not, not, not a chance that they will be equal because otherwise uh, they will not be disjoint because these intervals are inclusive on the boundary so that's uh, the uh, what the statements gives the problem statements gives us so the example here we have a list of intervals a List of intervals B, uh, which some with some intervals in in in, uh, in them, and the output is a list uh, of uh, intervals. That's the intersection, uh, the possible intersection among the intervals from these two lists. So. Uh, the I guess the naive way of solving this is to look at uh, uh, have a have a double loop. You know, for each interval from A, we we try to look at uh, every possible interval from B and see if there are intersection or not. If there are intersection, we put that intersection into the answer uh, list, and that will be uh, you know a quadratic time algorithm. But uh, that's kind of wasteful because. Um, uh, as soon as that, uh, let's say that uh, we are looking at the uh, interval, this particular interval from A, we, we, we iterate over the intervals from B to try to uh, calculate the intersection. Uh, we, we see that the, indeed the first uh, interval from B does have an intersection with B, but the second one doesn't. And since the second one doesn't have any kind of intersection with this first interval from A, anything that's happening after that is guaranteed to have no intersection with A. So the, so we have to uh, utilize the properties, uh, you know, the disjoint and uh, sorted order uh, properties to help us to uh, do these comparisons to, help, uh, to hopefully reduce the uh, complexity from quadratic uh, on, uh, on to, to linear time. So the way to do it is to have pointers to pointing at uh, the potential intervals we can uh, compare. And if it, they have uh, you know, the potential intervals from A and B and try to do the comparison. If we have intersections, we put that intersection onto the answer array and we can, dis uh, we can uh, discard uh, one of the intervals in the, in the following comparisons. And the one we discard is the one with the lowest uh, 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 ending points here. Let's say that uh, we're looking at the, this interval here uh, from A and this interval from B. Uh, they, they does have uh, an intersection. We're definitely going to put that intersection onto the answer. And uh, in the following comparisons, we no longer need the, the one from A here because, um, because this, this, this value is smaller. Uh, anything that happens after the intervals uh, from B here is guaranteed to have a starting point that's larger than, than this value. Since this is smaller than that, so there is no chance this uh, interval from A will have any kind of intersection with anything that's happening after, afterwards. So we should drop this one 
and move the pointer over to the next one from A and do this comparison and then uh, the ending point of the interval here it's smaller than, than that value so it's guaranteed that uh, this first interval from B will have no intersection with anything that's happening after the second interval from A so that's the uh, that, that, that gives us the guarantee this, uh, this solution will work so in terms of uh, calculating the intersection we we'll look at the, the maximum of the left pointer from these two compared um, intervals and we look at the, the minimum uh, right, right end point between these two intervals and uh, if, the, if the maximum of the lower ones is smaller than the minimum of the larger one we're guaranteed to have uh, intersection and we just put that in, in here if, um, if somehow the maximum of the left one uh, left, uh, left point uh, is uh, larger than the smaller of the right point meaning that uh, there is no overlap so we can uh, just disregard the comparison and j just keep moving to the next so that that's the comparison that that's the method of uh, trying to figure out uh, the whether we have intersection or not and if so uh, we can just use that uh, you know the minimum of the left uh, the maximum of the, of the left and the minimum of the right as the boundaries for that uh, intersection interval so uh, so in terms of the space and time the space is constant because we only have two pointers and the answer is definitely order of n but uh, that's output we, we definitely need to have that uh, complexity if uh, we're just looking at the, the helper helping aug aug auxiliary the space uh, that's constant the time is um, um, order of uh, m plus n if we see uh, there are m intervals from a and n intervals from b that's um, that, that uh, the it's just a linear with respect to the number of uh, total number of uh, intervals we have so let's code the problem up so le let's define the output that's going to be used to collect uh, the intersections and uh, we have two pointers to iterate over the intervals from these two lists while that uh, we still have some intervals we can do comparison um, you know, um, we will we'll try to put that uh, onto the um, we will grab these two intervals from these two lists and try to calculate their intersection um, if, if it does re uh, exist, the intersection does exist uh, we just append that to the output and then after the comparison uh, we will discard the interval that uh, has the smaller ending, ending boundary points A i one is less than uh, b j one. Then we increment i. Otherwise, we increment j. So the remaining work is to define this function. Uh, the input to this function is two intervals, and uh, the left. Uh, the candidate left uh, boundary points is the maximum of uh, the two left values so yeah this is zero here and uh, the candidate right boundary is the minimum uh, the smaller value of these two right boundaries and we should return this as a interval if left is smaller than or equal to right otherwise it, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's not so let's do some checkings whether the code looks uh, reasonable so we have uh, two input lists 
we have uh, we're, we're iterating them um, over and try to increment uh, the pointer if the interval ends earlier and if they have the intersection we put that into the output we append that to the output yeah it looks good to me so let's submit it okay it works okay so that that's the solution for this question today